Hey everyone, this is Adi, and you're listening to the Summer of Bitcoin Experience. As you know, Summer of Bitcoin is a global summer internship program focused on introducing university students to Bitcoin open source development and design. Just last month, we wrapped up the second edition of the program with over 80 students from 15 countries who contributed to more than 30 open source Bitcoin projects, including BDK, LDK, Core Lightning, LND, Stratum V2, Fedimint, Bitcoin Core, and many others. These students, still at universities, went from knowing nothing about Bitcoin to contributing to some of the most impactful Bitcoin projects. And now, we want to bring their stories to you through this podcast. In this episode, we talk to Anmol Sharma, a Summer of Bitcoin 2022 intern from India who contributed to Bcoin, which is a Bitcoin implementation in JavaScript. In the words of his mentor, Matthew, quote, if there is any kind of intern of the year award, I endorse Anmol 100%, end quote. Soon after his summer internship, Anmol landed a job offer at Bold, a Bitcoin-only company, thanks to his outstanding contributions to Bcoin that led him to be discovered by recruiters at Bold. Now, on to my conversation with Anmol. Hope you enjoy it. So Anmol, welcome to the first episode of the Summer of Bitcoin experience. Let's start with a bit of your introduction. You know, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Adi. Uh, thanks for inviting me. I'm Anmol Sharma and I'm a student at IIIT TM Jabalpur. I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in electronics and communications engineering. And I'm currently in my third year of BTEC. I've been a part of Summer of Bitcoin 2022 and I worked on adding new coin selection algorithm to Bcoin under the mentorship of Matthew Zepkin. Awesome. So Anmol, can you tell us how did you stumble down the Bitcoin rabbit hole and what was your first interaction? Maybe it was a video or a podcast or some blog post that you came across and what was that orange pill moment for you? So before summer of Bitcoin, I only thought of Bitcoin as just another cryptocurrency. But through summer of Bitcoin, I learned about the change that Bitcoin is bringing to the current financial system. I think uh, my orange will moment was when I first read the book Bitcoin Standard. And through that, I got to learn about how like Bitcoin is a store of value and the only true form of sound money. And I learned about how broken the fiat system really is and how Bitcoin can fix it. Interesting. So let's, you know, maybe elaborate more on that. Like, why do you feel, you know, Bitcoin is important and worth paying attention to? So I feel that uh, the world is going through an unprecedented financial crisis. There is a lot of turmoil all around the world, like, even if you talk about UK, Ukraine, Sri Lanka, China, like there's a lot of turmoil everywhere. And I believe that Bitcoin is the groundbreaking digital technology, which has the potential to radically change the way we conduct banking and commerce. So Bitcoin, I believe that Bitcoin fixes the broken fiat system, which we have been following for centuries. And by bringing transparency and decentralization that fiat money does not provide. Yeah, very true. Um, so maybe let's switch gears to Summer of Bitcoin. You know, when and how did you hear about Summer of Bitcoin, and what was your first impression? So the first time I heard about Summer of Bitcoin was on LinkedIn. I saw a post on LinkedIn, but I didn't pay much much attention to that during that time. So, but the very next day, one of my seniors shared the application link in a WhatsApp group. So that's when I first visited the website and read about the program. So my initial impressions were that I found it very similar to Google Summer of Code, except for the fact that you will only for find Bitcoin related projects in Summer of Bitcoin. So it's not just open source, it's uh, about Bitcoin open source community. And another very distinguishing factor, which I also like very much is that 
It also has a design track where designers can also participate and contribute to open source design. And what made you apply to the Summer of Bitcoin program? I applied because I wanted to learn more about Bitcoin and cryptography. I've always had a knack of learning new things. So I thought, why not give it a shot? And trust me when I say this, that applying to Summer of Bitcoin has been one of the best decisions of my life. Learning about Bitcoin and getting to work on it has been one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. And the scale of impact which can which I can have through my work in the Bitcoin community is enormous. For example, like let's take the project which I completed during my SOB. So that project allowed users to save up to 90% of on transaction fees. So as an intern, I was able to have such a huge Im- impact and that's a big win for me. Right. So, you know, let's talk about like the beginning of the summer of Bitcoin program. So you came across uh, the application process and, you know, you decided to apply. What was the application process like? So the first step uh, was to fill an application form on the summer of Bitcoin's official website and submit your resume. Shortly after that, you would receive an online programming test link. So the test was conducted on interview bit and consisted of medium to hard level algorithmic questions. So once you've cleared, uh, once you've cleared the online test, you would be invited to the Discord server where you would be given access to resources to learn about uh, Bitcoin. You could also like choose a project, interact with your mentor and discuss more about the project requirements and deliverables on the Discord server. The last step is to make a proposal and submit it to your mentor for review. Once your proposal gets accepted, you're in and you can submit up to three proposals. And the organization which I choose to apply was Bcoin and I submitted a proposal to work on the coin selection project. Can you tell us um, why did you choose Bcoin, the organization? I chose Bcoin because I already had programming experience with Node.js and JavaScript. And I also find the project really interesting. Like I love solving algorithmic puzzles and the project was right up my alley. Cool. And so you mentioned earlier that, you know, the project idea was coin selection. Um, Can you tell us a little bit more about that project idea uh, and why did you choose that project to apply for? Yeah, I worked on implementing coin selection, a new coin selection algorithm in Bitcoin. So you can think of uh, a Bitcoin wallet as the normal wallet which you use daily. If you want to say, if you want to pay someone 200 rupees, you can do it in many different ways, right? Maybe like you can pay one note of rupees 100 and two notes of rupees 50. Or maybe even you can pay one note of rupees 500 and receive 300 as change. So the same process happens in any Bitcoin wallet, but the distinction the distinction is that you have to pay a transaction fee each time you try to spend some money. So coin selection is the process of optimally choosing those coins to minimize the transaction fees. So before, before I started the project, the Bitcoin wallet had a very limited set of coin selection algorithms when constructing a transaction. So the default algorithms were very memory inefficient and took a long, a, a long time to run if the wallet has a large number of UTXO. So it's an important deal because coin selection directly impacts the fee a user has to pay in a transaction. So after completing my project, uh, the, I made the coin selection process four times faster and reduced the fee a user has to pay by 90%. Wow, that's a lot of savings in transaction fees. Um, and it's very amazing how the algorithm that you implemented in the Bitcoin project is unique to itself and something that was done you know, for the very first time in a Bitcoin implementation. I think Bitcoin Core has its own coin selection algorithms that may be different from yours. And I guess it remains to be seen how efficient you know each of these algorithms are. But uh, the fact that you were able to implement something that would save so much in transaction fees is really commendable. So you worked with a mentor. Um, 
who is someone who's been around for a very long time in the Bitcoin development space. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Like who was your mentor and how was your experience working with him? So Matthew Zepkin was my mentor for the project and he's the maintainer of Bitcoin and another project called Handshake. It's like always fun to talk and learn from him. He's always a wonderful teacher. He's also very patient and always explained to me why something is done the way it's done. So, and we both share the same passion for making Bitcoin better. It would be impossible to count all the ways he helped me. He would often invite other prominent Bitcoiners from the space and give me an opportunity to talk to them. He once invited Merch to our weekly meetings. So I could talk to him more about the new concept algorithm which I developed. Overall, like he's a great guy. That's great. So Anmol, like what are your plans now? Like after having completed summer of Bitcoin and, you know, and, and specifically with the Bitcoin organization, uh, what are you currently working on? So my plan is to stay in the Bitcoin dev community. Fortunately, shortly after summer of Bitcoin ended, I was contacted by a CTO of Bold on LinkedIn. He was following my contributions to Bitcoin as Bitcoin is the primary dependency for the project. So if it wasn't for or, uh, summer of Bitcoin, I wouldn't have landed up at Bold. Bold is a Bitcoin only company and we are building a credit, credit card that is collateralized by Bitcoin, which allows consumers to spend on a fiat line of credit against their Bitcoin. So it allows you to store your Bitcoin as collateral and enable spending in fiat. And it's using the current system against itself. We are planning to spread Bitcoin adoption throughout the world. Next week, it's going to be a month since I joined Bold and my experience has been nothing but amazing. Sweet. Love it. Amazing. Um... What else are you excited about uh, in the Bitcoin space? I'm excited about the Taproot project and the opportunities it uh, opens for uh, for the Lightning Network and the impact it will have on the Lightning Network. So it offers lighter and more private multi-sig transactions and Taproot better aligns the incentives and makes it cheaper to spend stack sats at the cost of slightly more expensive outputs. We are in the process of merging the Taproot VR to Bcoin. So that's something I look forward to. Okay, that's great. I look forward to it uh, in terms of what we can do with Taproot in Bcoin, uh, given that many projects use Bcoin uh, for their Bitcoin operations. Um, so Anmol, like switching gears a little bit to someone for, you know, for someone who is getting started in Bitcoin development, like what do you think are like the best resources for a beginner developer who wants to contribute to Bitcoin open source software? Yeah, first of all, I feel that you need to have some prior programming experience before you jump into the Bitcoin technicals. The learning curve for Bitcoin is a bit steep, so it's good if you have some prior experience. For learning about Bitcoin, there are many books like Mastering Bitcoin, Croaking Bitcoin, and Programming Bitcoin. Mastering Bitcoin by Andreas is one of the best books if you want to learn about the technical aspects of Bitcoin. Yeah, my advice for beginners is that don't be afraid if you can't grasp something in one go. As I said earlier that Bitcoin development is not easy and it's natural to feel overwhelmed sometimes. But the main thing is that you shouldn't give up if you can't understand something. Instead, try asking for help. There are so many dev communities in Bitcoin you can't even think of. Uh, you can even message on the official Bitcoin IRC channel and ask about basically anything. And Bitcoin Stack Exchange is another very useful resource and you can find answers to some common questions there. All right. So for people who, uh, especially university students, right, who want to take part in Summer of Bitcoin next year, uh, do you have any piece of advice or any tips for, the, for those people uh, who want to crack Summer of Bitcoin? Yeah. So my top three tips for cracking Summer of Bitcoin is that you gain some programming experience. Being proficient is just one language is also enough. 
as I mentioned earlier, that Bitcoin development is not easy as compared to other areas of development. So you need to be proficient in at least one language at the bare minimum. Second of all, is that uh, don't wait for applications to open. So start learning about Bitcoin from now. If you aspire to be a summer of Bitcoin, always help you to stand out in your applications. And last but not the least is ask a lot of questions. The more you will ask questions, the more you learn. And Bitcoin development community is so welcoming that you can even ask the most stupidest questions from the most senior developers and they'll still respond to you. All right, Anmol, this was pretty useful. Um, so thank you very much you know, for uh, sharing about your Summer of Bitcoin experience. Thanks, Adi. Thanks for having me. Thank you for listening to the Summer of Bitcoin experience. 